Willkommen, everybody. As you're probably guessed already, Expo Talks is checking out the German pavilion today. From sustainability and renewable energy sources to creating an absolutely amazing immersive journey for the young visitors, the Commissioner General is set to tell me all the exclusives of this mega structure we're filming at today. Construction Week is enrolling in the German campus, ladies and gentlemen, for a speedy course on the country's culture, innovations, and visions. Right here, right now, at Expo Talks. I think I'm late to class. Good morning, Sebastian. Thank you for welcoming me at one of the most talked about pavilions at Expo. Welcome to the Campus Germany. Nice to have you here. I'm very happy to be here and I have to tell you, I'm seeing lines of people every day standing in front of your pavilion, waiting to get that chance to come and check it out. It must feel amazing, right? Yes, it is. You planned a lot of years, uh, this project, and uh, once you're really online or uh, the, the expo is going on, then you realize uh, that people want to see it. And we are amazed about the queuing lines. Uh, especially in the weekends, we have already queuing lines up to two hours, uh, which wow. is crazy. Uh, but we are very happy that uh, there is a lot of interest for our pavilion. You must be very proud, especially after all the hard work that you've put into it and all the challenges that you overcame in the last couple of years. So to kick off our interview, I would like to ask you what are your initial thoughts about the World Expo, about the German theme in general, and how all of that resonates at the end of the day to connecting minds and creating the future. It was very a very long journey for us uh, where we took really from the beginning uh, the topic of Expo very serious, uh, connecting minds, creating the future. It was already um, placed in our tender uh, as we uh, moved uh, the tender 2018. So we wanted really to be from the first step uh, connected uh, to the topic of Expo. So uh, we make sure uh, that in every displayed room we have like this uh, connection to the topic. And uh, the consortium who won this project um, initially with uh, Facts and Fiction together they did it the best way for us. The best way, not in general, but the best way also for this region, the Middle East, because it's the first expo in the Middle East. So at the end of the day, we found a very, very nice concept, uh, which is displaying the, the, the topic of expo, but also implemented to this region, which is a topic of education. And education is also a very important topic in Germany, but in UAE as well. So that's the reason why we say we have to, we have to take it. Definitely. And I think incorporating uh, education and sustainability into one is, is what the German Pavilion is all about. And I love the way you guys did that because at the end of the day, being here in Dubai, it's an expo hot topic to talk about sustainability and education. So you've done a great job at doing that. And nothing was expected less from Germany, I think. So uh, moving on to more construction details now, I would like to ask you to take us through a journey from the conceptual design towards the structure and how all of that worked out in the end? Sure. Um, it works in Germany uh, as this project is completely funded by the uh, government, by the Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy. We have to do a, a European-wide tender. And you can, as a consortium, they can bid uh, with a concept, uh, really a ready concept. And so we had over 10 concepts uh, we, we received uh, in 2018 and uh, a large group um, of different persons from different ministries, but also experts, uh, decided uh, at least uh, at the end for this uh, for this concept, and we moved then uh, step by step. Uh, we we received uh, also the first impressions of the exhibits. Uh, we talked about it. We uh, make some changes here and there. We talk also about also the operational things, which are very important for uh, operating a pavilion. Uh, how do we manage the Q and I, for example? How is going to be the visitor flow? Um, how do we want to place uh, the exhibits in a different uh, journey or how do we have to set everything up to, to make the best uh, for the visitor experience? A lot of organization is needed, yes. definitely, but Germany is very good at doing that, I think. And some very interesting details. Thank you for that. Now, uh, something else I would like to touch upon is, I believe this also reflects the whole idea of your pavilion. Uh, how are you promoting the use of renewable energy and, and spreading a similar message to all of your visitors that come and, and visit the pavilion. The topic of sustainability and uh, renewable energy is very important for us. That's the reason why we have a dedicated lab in our uh, Campus Germany pavilion. It's uh, the energy lab where you find a lot, of, uh, a lot of innovations and a lot of technology in terms of renewable energy. Uh, it means producing energy. 
But on not only producing, uh, there are two more important steps. Uh, it's the energy um, transportation. It's also a very important topic. And one of the biggest topic is the, the uh, energy storage. So we have therefore the energy terrace here at the German Pavilion where we are showing a lot of solutions that could affect us in the future in a positive way uh, to close also this gap of, of the storage. Yeah, and I think raising awareness is vital for all of us as humanity when it comes to these things. And especially here in Dubai, where I think they aim to produce 75% of energy requirements for um, clean energy solutions by 2050. So it plays vital importance in the whole region. Now, um, moving on to a little different topic, what are the universal lessons from designing, let's say an expo pavilion for other private and in public spaces in your opinion? I think the important thing is to see the concept always through the eyes of the visitor. Yeah, you have to, to see it as a whole thing, not only the architecture, not only the exhibition, not only the operations. You have to put everything together. And this is for me the biggest lesson I made also with this pavilion uh, during the four years journey we have uh, in, the, in the past uh, from us. And uh, it was really, really challenging always to focus yourself again through the eyes of the visitor. And this makes it very important at the end of the day because we are doing for them and not for us, okay. yeah? and uh, that's important to, to see it from that way always. Very interesting, and in a way it's how life works. I mean, we learn our lessons and then we try to use them for our future experiences and future situations, and that's how we grow at the end of the day, right? So now we unfortunately have to wrap up our interview as we're running out of time. However, I wanted to ask you for your final message about all the people who will be coming to the German campus from the enrollment to graduating in the end. What would be your final, final thoughts and messages for them? I would like to invite everyone who wants to visit the German Pavilion to come to explore how we uh, want to live in the future, maybe with the solutions and innovations we have to pro we can provide. Uh, but also take uh, take a time and uh, have a chat with also with our staff because we are uh, also displaying here the aspect of the multiculturalism of Germany, and uh, you will witness definitely a very fun journey uh, with a lot of emotions at the end. Thank you, Sebastian. I think Germany has done a spectacular job in really sending that message towards a better and more sustainable future for all of us, and best of luck to you in the upcoming months. Thank you very much. Did I graduate your class, by the way? Definitely. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. Dankeschön. Bitte. That's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed your speedy lesson and learned something new from the German Pavilion. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and comment your thoughts below, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Expo content. Enroll at the German campus for an entertaining, surprising, hands-on digital experience. I'm off to try some schnitzel, and you should remember, we're connecting minds and creating the future. Tschüss.